You're watching 8 News Now, Weekend Edition. Welcome back. Well, it was an absolutely gorgeous weekend this weekend with temperatures staying pretty normal, but it looks like we're expecting another warm up this week. Sally Jaramillo has more in your Weather Now forecast. Orco, we had a seasonable weekend with temperatures staying below normal. Now, we do show you that today we're actually not there with those 97 degrees. We'll be reaching a high of 95 for today, so it still feels really comfortable outside. Those lows will be of 72 degrees for tonight. Satellite radar, we are showing you about this cold front that moved through southern Nevada into the Mojave Desert really this weekend. That's what brings us these changes, these below normal temperatures that we've been getting. Not only that, add to that, we're talking about these gusty conditions that we will see for today. Now, after that, we do have high pressure really building over the western states, giving us hotter temperatures as we start the work week. Once again, triple digits will rise. Now, wind speeds, though, that will be the main factor for today. We do see those gusts going all the way up to the 20 mile per hour range. Check, check it out for searchlight. 25 miles per hour range there. Laughlin 23 for that Sunday 6 a.m. morning start. We do continue on with the day, and we do see these gusts really persisting, mainly for the southern Clark County area and the Laughlin Lower Colorado River Valley area. Now, let's take a look at your peak gusts, where we do show them up in the 22 mile per hour range, really for that 7 a.m. morning start. It will continue for the 8 a.m. hour and really start to die down after. After the 2 p.m. hour for today. Now, temperatures will rebound once again up into the triple digits by Monday, 100 degrees. Tuesday, 105 expected. And then Wednesday being 107, the hottest day of the week so far. Lake Mead highs will be of 94 degrees, those lows of 77 degrees. North breeze is going 10 to 20 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. And boaters beware because those waves will be up to one to two feet. Really going high, so wear that life jacket there. Mount Charleston highs of 71, those lows of 50 degrees. Northeast breeze is going 15 to 25 miles per hour. And if you're going to Red Rock, 86 degrees will be expected for today. Now, tonight, those lows will kick in of 73 degrees, mostly clear conditions. Calmer winds for tonight. Let's roll out your 70 forecast where we do want to remind you to please be safe out there with these triple digit temperatures really striking up as we get into the work week. Normal temperatures reach for your Saturday with 99 degrees. Back to you. Definitely heating up. Thanks, Sally. As floodwaters recede, a community in Little Rock, Arkansas, is trying to figure out exactly how much damage was left behind. As Rochelle Turner reports, people say they have a long way to go. I gotta move fast. It's all teamwork. I am very happy that they're able to help me. At St. Stephen Missionary Baptist Church in North Little Rock. So we're in the process of moving the sandbags so we can have service tomorrow. The church, along with several homes in the Dixie community. I was blessed to where I didn't have to evacuate, but some of my neighbors had to evacuate. Trying to figure out how much damage was left behind from floodwaters. So this right here is my driveway. Thomas McElway. Oh, that's underwater. That's under about three feet of water. Shows us what used to be his front yard on North G Street. As you see where those markers are on the lawn, that's how far. Poly pipes like this and sandbags are still around several homes. Most of them does not have flood insurance. Uh, maybe one or two does, but uh, I mean it's going to be a difficult and a long uh, process. And roads like this. This, this car here is attempting to come down through here. Are still hard to drive through. Now, yeah, this water has receded now. This is, this is the level on it now. As water levels drop, many people in the tight-knit community are ready for things to be back to normal. Absolutely. I would love to. Miguel Wee says the flood water in the community has nowhere to go because the drainage system can only do so much. He's already working with the city of North Little Rock to find a solution to the problem. Well, Golden Knights fans, Ryan uh, had an extra reason to drink this weekend. Coming up, Ryan Reeves debuts his new beer. See why it's already a success. Stay with us. The Valley's news leader will be right back.